I'm back with another video. Today we are taking a look at some Warhammer Quest Silver Tower. It's a new free-to-play game that's launched on Steam, but uh, I believe it was originally a mobile game that's been ported over. And uh, you know how those kind of games go. Is it a quick cash grab? Are they just trying to reach into another market for some quick money? Or is it actually a well-done PC port? Or is it like the bare minimum? We'll... Uh, We'll be get playing a couple of levels to see how it is, but essentially what we've done is there's a campaign you can do. I've done the first chapter of it because essentially it's a long tutorial and after every mission you unlock something new on the homepage. So I've completed that out the way. It looks like it's a bit of a lengthy campaign. Um, it seems like it's a good good few hours of content here. But uh, here's the camp, and you also have a second one, but we can't even view that one until we've got far enough in this one. We have a store. It's your usual microtransaction store. Um, you can claim a daily gift. And then you have, like, stuff you can buy for your character's XP or weapons or boons and stuff to put on your characters. You've got your usual money ones. Um, yeah, it's your typical microtransaction store. I mean, what game doesn't have it? Especially being um, a mobile port. I mean, I would have been surprised if there wasn't a store like this. And then here you got daily missions that uh, reset. And they're not just quests either. They're actually mini storylines that... Uh, Reset every day. You turn some gold and some XP, turn some random rewards every day. Here you can see the champions we got. I'm pretty sure. So you start with this guy. And I'm pretty sure um, during the tutorial you summon your first champion. And I'm pretty sure this is just the bog standard. Everyone is going to get him first. But he has a Chaos Hound. Which is uh, pretty cool. And then here we got the portal where you summon. If you've played a game like Raid Shadow Legends or something. It's like you collect a certain currency. You summon a champion. We got enough to summon a level 1 or 2. I'd like to save for a level 3. But uh, it might be one of those games where you're going to hit a brick wall very soon. And... Uh, a little bit of money might help you along the way. <laughs> but I'll jump into part two of the campaign just to uh, show some gameplay. Okay, so we're in. We gotta kill three enemies and escape. I mean, this can't be too hard for us, right? So he can go there. In that case, if I move. Yeah. Move this guy. Yep. Yeah. Should be safe from attacks for a turn. And they actually did not push me, which I'm a bit surprised. Thought they were going to push me. We'll just time waste. Here we go. Oh no, there's another enemy. Maybe we shouldn't have time wasted. But you know what? We'll channel our inner Thor. And now we run away. He can basically reach us anyway, so... That's fine. Did take two actions though, so we couldn't... We can summon our little hound boy. Come on. Yeah, doggy, doggy. There he is. Come on, buddy. Buddy. I wanted you to kill him. Now we run away, I guess. Just gotta get to that exit. And it's a level well done. There's another enemy. 
Okay, peace out. Just... Oh man, can we not ditch the dog? Dog's gotta go, I'm sorry, pal. I know they're expecting the dog to escape, are they? Sorry, doggo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dog. Well, we got three scrolls. Um, you get however many scrolls based on how much health you finish the level with. And then you get these loot crates at the end of every level. You seem to have got a rare piece of armor for a knight quester. And we've leveled up. Oh great, it was it was a cosmetic. What is it just giving us a red trim? Is that really it? It's just giving us a red trim. What why am I not surprised? <laughs> Kill six enemies? Right. I stand here. They gotta waste two actions to get to me. We not, we need a direct line of sight. Okay. Ah, kiss. Hide behind him. <laughs> Just hide. Oh, ducked under fireball. Whoa! Oh man, there's no stopping this guy. Ah. I push up into this space. End my turn. Oh! This guy is actually unstoppable. Oh, never mind. This wasn't what I was hoping for. I was hoping to get a chain of one. Um. What's if we move here and then zap it down this way? Nice. We get the Chaos Hound in. Um, we'll put our Chaos Hound here. Want some of the... the controls are a little bit clunky because I think... I, I don't know. It's... Uh, Sometimes it's a bit responsive, sometimes it's a bit weird. But uh, now I'll move across here. But, oh, he does a lot of damage, this guy. Oh, and that was the sixth enemy, nice. Another three scroll uh, win. Once you save up enough XP as well, you can level up these champions. And by the looks of it, once he gets far enough, because he's a Chaos champion, I'm going to need Chaos tokens. But we haven't hit that stage yet. Get to the exit. Alright. Okie doke. Uh, if I move here. Yep. Yeah. I actually probably should have moved in one more forward. My bad. They have a poor play on my part. There's going to be enemies coming behind us from these portals as well. So we just got to push forwards and go for it. Um, 
Yeah, I thought it would be. This guy can't attack us this turn. He can chase. I have to just punch my way through this dude and run. If I run here, we will put the chaos um, pound here just to block the way. That's its sole purpose. Um. Oh no! Now they're gonna gonna kill the dog. I'm sorry, pal. You just bit. We can't keep baiting the dog. It feels bad. But that's another three scroll level. So let's just quick look into this game. We well, like we give a quick run through of everything on the home page, and we've done a few levels. And in all fairness, the game seems to play fine. It's not the um, it's not unplayable. Um, as as far as PC ports go, I the game is playable. I can't really fault the gameplay too much. Um. But yeah, I, I got a feeling though, one hundred percent. Well, I say one hundred percent. I can't. I can't really say one hundred percent without doing it myself. But I reckon you're gonna hit a brick wall in this game, and either you're gonna be grinding dailies for a little bit of like gold each day until you can buy some upgrades, and that'll be the only thing you can do. Log in each day, do a daily because you can't progress in the campaign, or you cough up a few uh, few bucks, like I get. It's it's the usual pattern these games fall into, and I wouldn't be surprised if this one falls into it as well. But um, it's free to play. You could always give it a go if it's a game you kind of enjoy and are willing to grind. Be my guess, you know, play it. Congrats, you got another game to play. If it's not your kind of game, you spent like 10, 15 minutes giving it a go. Did you really lose much? But uh, as always, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. And if you want to see more of this gameplay, just let me know. And until next time, see ya.